first thing on the list on a day off in town is to eat breakfast. Okay, next. To devour this, and then on to my next project. Oh, just ducky. Although these are the days I don't mind doing the zero. We just had the weather warning come across our phones, severe flooding and storms. So I'm glad I'm in town. This was another good move, even though... Although this morning I feel pretty good, but yesterday I could just about walk. <laughs> when I got into town, I was a crippled person. Oh, yeah. But a couple of IV co ibuprofen and a good night's rest in a bed, and I'm up and out. I feel no pain anywhere in my body, so I recouped. Uh, second thing now, just had breakfast at the only restaurant open in town and I mean it was packed there's a waiting line outside luckily there's a there's a like a porch area and uh good breakfast now the next stop is post office mailing back another four or five pounds of winter gear that I don't need I do have a couple of pieces of winter gear that I'm keeping but uh just a couple because uh you never know but I'm sending back my ear mattress, don't need it. I'm out of the Smokies. I do not, I will not be forced to go into any shelters. I'm gonna keep my underquilt. It was between the underquilt and the ear mattress. I decided to go, get rid of the ear mattress. All right, here's the post office. I'll do my thing later. All right. I shaved off three pounds, three pounds of gear just as going back home. It wasn't too bad, 11 bucks to send it home. The other two boxes of gear, of food that I had sent here, I sent that home. Oh, look at the river. Oh, my word. They're, well, we are under a flash flood warning, so there are going to be some people trapped up in it. They're not going to be able to cross some of these rivers today. I'm glad I came into town yesterday. All right, Bluff Mountain Outfitters. I'm looking for a rain hat. So we're gonna go in here and see the outfitter. This is great, I've been in here before. This is a great, great place. Okay, oh yeah. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. All right. Later. Oh, I'm in the Hiker Resource Center in the center of Hot Springs. It's a little tiny building right on the river. And it's for hikers to come in. It's a hiker rest stop. You can't stay here, but they have free coffee, muffins, fruit. They got a grill that you can use if you buy burgers at the market next door. You can go outside on the deck, but it's raining right now. <laughs> So I came in here just to check it out. Nice place. They take donations. Uh, town is full of people. A lot of hikers in town. Everybody, my whole, I caught up to the bubble. They're all here. <laughs> so we're all leaving in the morning, I guess. There's going to be a mad rush out of town. Uh, so I'm having a coffee and donut. Oh, here comes somebody. Come on in. <laughs> You're back. Yeah. Okay, all right, talk to people later, taking a little break. Okay, this is my little cubicle. <laughs> For the, oh, at least I have my own room. I, I don't like those bunk rooms. No. So this will work. I got an air conditioner, nice view of the end next door. Uh, so I'll lay out, I got all my supplies. I need five days of food to get the Irwin. Uh, sent back winter gear which was three pounds but then I just added five more ounces because I got a full length foam pad for security insulation in my hammock uh, so I still ended up saving just about a pound by, by sending back my other room okay yes sir one minute okay so this is my uh, 
five days worth of food that's going to get me to Irwin, which is um, 50 miles, 60 something miles, I think it is. So, anyway. I have a couple of these fruit, uh, pre-sealed fresh fruit. I'm, I'm going to have one today, so there'll be two. I'm taking two of those. I have my uh, Fritos. I got to have my Fritos, these things. So I got two, two small bags of Fritos. I'm probably going to eat an apple and an orange today, so I'm going to take an apple and an orange with me tomorrow. That's going to go into my water jugs, 50 and 50. So I'll have two liters of watered-down Gatorade. These are my lunches. I have I have uh, 12 of these little wraps. And then I have my Spam and Tuna creations. And then I have another here of uh, meatloaf. Um, to make sandwiches and then I'm going to try the summer sausage because of the salt content. I'm going to either throw this into my dinners or I'll throw some, I'll slice this and put that in a wrap for lunchtime. So those are my lunches. And then for my dinners I have a few extras but I'd rather have one extra just in case. So I have my four mountain house and then I have, this is all set to be a ramen bomb which is your ramen a half a packet of Idaho potatoes and gravy mix and then I'll probably add a sausage here and I have some other protein here which would be sausages pepperoni and beef jerky that can go I add that to my meals for my protein at night and uh, I have another extra ramen bomb in case one of these meals becomes a little watery, I throw in a little bit of um, Idaho potato to thicken the sauce a little bit so it doesn't get like a soup. I don't want a soup. And then I found these. These are, are vegetable melodies. It's a freeze-dried uh, vegetables that I can add to my... I have two more meals here for dinner, which is your... Uh, it's like a Coors. And then you can add vegetables to them. So that's what these here will go with those meals. So basically I have four, there's six dinners right here. And this is like a spare or this could be a lunch. I could have that for a lunch if I'm hungry one day. Um, again, this is my protein that I'm going to be adding to my lunches. And then this is my breakfast mix. This is all my, um, I go two packets of a, oatmeal then I add almonds and cranberries to my oatmeal in the morning and then I also have some uh, health chewables here I get B vitamin b12 and there are a whole bunch of other um, minerals that I use here and I also have my daily uh, active multivitamin pills that I take once a day uh, just to supplement my uh, intake on that um, here I just have a, probably three hot chocolates a cocoa and a couple of tea and it's occasionally at night if I just sit around a fire or I just want to relax in a hammock I can have something warm I don't carry a lot of this stuff this is my breakfast mix I always have this every morning with my oatmeal this is my breakfast carnation and I usually will add one packet of caffeine coffee to my breakfast mix so this is this is my breakfast mix in the morning and then uh, during the day I might snack on a couple of bars here I like my Luna bars and then I have my Nature Valley um, same thing over here I'd probably go through three of these a day so I got enough here to carry me a week and then I've been carrying these around I've only had one in three weeks um, these are just mini candy bars Milky Way kind of things again I don't even know why I'm carrying these I don't eat them but if I 
like I said, I only had one in three weeks, so I'll carry these a little while longer. If not, I'm going to probably leave them in a hiker box somewhere. But um, they're there if, I, if I'm craving a little energy or a sweet. And then I have my peanut butter here for uh, protein, and I have a little spoon to go with it, which I probably don't need, but it only weighs not even an ounce. Um, I can add this to the wraps, add this to one of my ramen din dinners here. Uh, this is good protein, and um, um, it's peanut butter. You know, we all know what peanut butter is, so there it is. And I always add honey to it, natural honey. I, uh, I put a layer of honey on the uh, peanut butter with it. And I can add this to my coffee, too, to sweeten my coffee in the morning. Uh, and up here, just for a little snack, I have... Uh, some trail mix. I like munching on this occasionally. I get tired of it, but I don't. I said I don't need a lot of it, but but there's good peanuts in here. I got raisins, almonds, um, M and M's. Very few M and M's, but um, this is good on the trail too. Just for a quick snack. So that's basically it. I think I'm finally winding down my food, and this is to get me five, possibly six days, on the trail. I'm going to try to do it in five, but I have enough food to carry me over to the sixth day. And that's about it. So, hopefully this will be a lot lighter than I had it before. I was 13 pounds a couple of weeks ago. But I got rid of the heavy stuff, and now I'm fine-tuning my meals. I really like the mountain houses. They're light, and they give you nutrition and flavor that I'm, I'm looking for. And again, I always try to pack out fresh fruit for at least the first two days. And um, I know it's a little heavy, but uh, I try to try to extend that good good vitamins and stuff um, an extra day on the trail. So that's about it. And then uh, I got a new. I sent back my ear pad, and then I got this right here to give me extra warmth in my hammock if I need it and I can use this to sit on the ground and have lunch without sitting on wet soil and stuff so I picked that up at the outfitter today um, I have a short one it's only 24 inches that's not enough to keep me warm in the hammock so I added that and I'll just leave the shorty here in the uh, hiker box so basically I added five ounces but got rid of one pound three ounces so I'm still on the uh plus side there uh that's about it oh i got an extra roll of tp gotta have tp oh i dread the point where i run out um what else we got up here not too much i got my fuel uh toiletries a couple little minor snacks that i've been carrying forever my emergency, that's my EpiPen and stuff for my bee stings. What do we got here? Oh, receipts. I'm keeping track of my expenses. That's my um, inReach. What's in here? Oh, emergency sewing kit and uh, repair tape for my uh, rain tarp and stuff like that's in here. This stuff is great. Haven't, knock on wood, haven't had any issues with chafing or anything. Um, this is the Preparation H wipes to clean yourself. Um, I always keep some of that with me. And I went out and bought some deodorant because I'm tired of smelling like shit when I come into town. So at least I smell good for a day. So I got a little kind of yeah, deodorant. It's my luxury item, so I smell good. That's it. That's all my gear. I'm really fine-tuning it. Um, all right. What time is it? It's 1.30, so let me pack this up. I'm going to take a nap, and then I'm going to get ready, and I'm going to go out for dinner. All right. That's what we do when we're on a zero day. We relax and eat. That's all we do is eat. I just had ice cream, a big bowl of ice cream. Got to get them. Oh, I weighed myself. I lost eight pounds in three weeks, so I'm down to 180 from 189, I think I started off at. So not too bad. Not bad at all. All right, later. Oh, so let me show you the flavors that I'm having for dinner here. This is a new one for me. Never had this one before. Pasta Primavera, whatever that is.
zucchini, cauliflower, broccoli, red and yellow peppers, green peppers, and spiral macaroni and Parmesan cheese. So that looks pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to try that one. That's a new one. This one I like, chicken fajita bowl. That one there is a, a good one. I enjoy that. And turkey dinner. This is really good. I've had this before. That one is good. And then what else do we have over here? Sweet and sour. This is my best, my favorite. Top 10. Sweet and sour pork. This is really good on a wrap. Oh, it's so, so good. Okay. And then we have our creamy garlic. Uh, this, this, this is sort of like a pasta side. That, that I will add my vegetable melody with. And this one is a four cheese macaroni that I will add the other vegetable melody with. So I'll have my veggies in that meal. And then again, my, my ramen balm, which I already showed on another video of how to make those. So just thought I'd show you my dinners. So, that's what I'll be looking forward to at the end of every day, a good meal. Okay, folks. Oh, yeah. It's still raining. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I'm getting bored and I'm getting hungry. So, we're going to go into town. And I'm going to get a nice salad. I'm going to... Hold on. Oops. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have a nice salad. Then I'm gonna come back, and uh, I gotta. Oh, I gotta pick up an onion at the market. I'm gonna do up some ham, onions. I gotta have some Idaho potatoes and gravy. I'm gonna make my own dinner at the hostel. Every hostel has a kitchen, so you can do your own meals if you want. Most people don't, but tonight I'm gonna do a meal. They're all, when they start frying up those onions, they're all going to be coming out of their rooms <laughs> looking looking for a dish. Um, so, I'm on my way into town. Uh, you just got to get on these stairs. This is part of the AT. I could have got to the restaurant without getting wet, but there were some people that were doing trail magic. And they decided to drop it all off at the hostel because people weren't stopping. They were coming out of the woods, and with it raining, they weren't stopping to eat their food. So the, the hostel is right at the end of the trail when you come out of the woods. So they just brought it all in and gave everybody food. So I got two bananas. I got some natural yogurt. And what was the other thing? Oh, natural fruit punch. I don't know how you get natural fruit punch, but anyway, um, that's for my dessert later tonight. So that was nice of them, and then they have, she, she's like a health fanatic. She made all these pastries with no sugar and stuff, but I'm not eating that stuff, so I left it. I didn't, I didn't grab any of that. Uh, so that was pretty nice of them. Um, Come to find out, she lived 11 years in Falmouth on Cape Cod. Whoa, we just had a tree come down because this wasn't here earlier this morning when I came through here. Wow. Okay, that was interesting. Yeah, that's what it's going to be like tomorrow on the trail. All this rain is going to be, well, it's not windy, so that's a good thing. Because if it was windy, that would take down more trees. All right, so we got to cross here. I'm still on the trail. Look at the water. Yo! Oh, I got to watch out for these cars. That's right. They've been they've been coming along here, splashing people. Hey, you got the AT. The AT's marked every 50, 75 feet along the sidewalk. It goes right through the town. So, 
I will uh, I will get back to you in a few minutes. My word, look at this stream. Yeah, they were saying flash floods is right. Man, I'm glad I'm not in the mountains. Look at this. Look at this thing. Look at this river. Look at the logs. There was a tree floating down here earlier. Look at the garbage. Wow. Holy. Spring Creek Tavern. Gonna have some wings and a salad, and I do have a beer. Pretty cool place. It's right on the river. I was nervous sitting on the deck because the water's three feet from the deck. <laughs> I came in here to the bar. I figured I'd eat at the bar. It's safer. Uh, after we saw a couple of more trees go underneath the bridge, I figured uh, this is not good out here, so I moved. All right, later. Look at look at look at the. Uh, it's right up to the beam. I think this was a good call. Look at that log. Oh! Yeah. There's no way. We would be stuck in a mountain somewhere because there's no way we can cross these rivers. I'm going to take a walk down to where the trail, the, tra the trail actually runs beside a river. Another river that's even bigger. Let's take a walk down. Here's the AT again, right through the center of town. I'm going to take a walk down there to see if the tra if the trail's underwater, then we're stuck here because there's no way. I don't believe there's a foul weather trail to get around it. All right, I'll get back to you in a few minutes. Holy crap! This river's even higher. Look at it. It's, way it's into the campground. And the AT runs right along the shoreline right there. Then we got to climb that mountain. But I'm not sure we'll be able to get there. We have some rescue people down here. Somebody got into trouble. Uh-oh. There were campers down here because there's no place to camp in town. Oh, shit. Look at the cars that are flooded. Well, you can't see it, but you will in a minute. Oh, shit. When they talk flash flooding, that's what they mean. It comes up in minutes. Oh man, there's like six cars on the water. Here's the AT right here. Here's the double blaze. We're going to take the stairs down to see if we can even get on this trail. Oh, crap. These must be hikers. These are hikers that left their car down here. And they're, they're hiking in the mountains. They're going to come back. The car's going to be floating away. Oh, let me go down these stairs. Ooh, this is a lot easier whether to pack on. Ooh, I like hiking like this. Uh-oh. Oh, these poor campers. 
Actually, that guy's got his wipers on. Oh, shit. this guy in a minute if the trail's open. Do you uh <laughs> do you know if the trail is open along the water to get oh, up? No, that trail's closed. Yeah. Oh it's closed? That trail that trail's flooded by now. Is there another bat foul weather route? Yeah. If you go to the left uh, up the up the stream. Yep. <clears throat> go over here and just take a left, go up here and then you you pick it up to the right, it'll be several miles, it'll be a big uh, sign and then it goes back and it, it joins this trail right there at the top. Yeah, at the top. So yeah, that's the foul yeah. weather trail. Okay, yeah. super. All right, thank you. All right, so the AT is closed and there's a foul weather route around it. Okay. Man, these poor people. That river is flowing. Oh. All right, that's it for now. Get back to you later. Tomorrow's going to be interesting. Oh, there's some hikers over there. I'm going to go over there and talk to them. All right. That car's moving. It just moved six inches at the ball radio to float off. Yep. The wreck, the wreck is here, but I don't know how they're going to hook to it. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know who would go out there to try to hook it. I'll go out there. Get it. <laughs> I'll wait out there if they got a chain. I think they can I'll hold you down, yeah. Yeah, it's moved, it moved about six inches. I'm, I got the roof rack lined up with a tree in the foreground. And it definitely has moved. They're thinking it's going to end up in those trees right there, which is pretty obvious. Okay. Oh, those guys are gone. I was going to go talk to those hikers, but see what that foul weather trail looks like. Prepare myself for tomorrow. That's if it doesn't come up overnight. All right, later again. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> look at this. I decided to take a walk along the AT. Um, Oh, look at that. Look at those little houses up there. That's cute. This is part of the NOC. They own this property for some reason. Uh, I don't know what they're doing with it. But I want... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's the AT. This is what we call blue blazing. <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah. I think the AT is closed. There's the white blaze. We ain't going this way. No way. Oh crap. I can't afford I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to pitch my hammock somewhere because I can't afford fifty bucks a night to sit here until this water goes down. We'll, have to take another way. We'll try the bypass. Yeah, wow. It's going to be a couple of days before that water goes down. Maybe it'd be wise for me to sit another day. Well, once we get up there, we're going to be up on a ridge for a day. Uh, it's only when we come down to the lower elevations where we'll run into water crossings. So, um, at that point, 
I'll just make camp and um, sit it out. Ooh, look at this bridge. This bridge is about ready to go. Whoa, don't go while I'm on it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, this is good. This is going to be good. They're going to try to tow this thing? Yeah. What's he doing? <coughs> oh, this water's cut. This thing, this has come up already since like 15 minutes ago. All right, later. Have you seen the AT? No, because we tried and then... It's, the water's this high over the trail. I'm not yeah. We're not going that way tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was about, we were about to go that way, and then I got the flash flood warning, and I was like, we're not going that way. The, I just talked to the fire guy here. He says there's a foul weather route. you got to go up that road. Yeah, yeah. We, and it's, oh, you know where it is? Okay. All right, all right. Well, over there, when I was standing over there 15 minutes ago, it moved a half a foot. Oh, really? I, uh, had, I had the roof the roof rack lined up with a tree, and the truck was actually moving, so it's about ready to float down the river here. The poor owner, though, you know. Because you never recover from it. The insurance will never pay 100%, you know, so. You don't want a car that's been in a flood. No. no. <laughs> no. Little sun, yay! It's faking us. The sun is faking us. It's setting us up for a big downpour. <laughs> It's come up quick. I just walked along here like 15 minutes I know, ago. I, know. I almost couldn't get back. I, yeah. It's how fast it's coming up. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's like funny. Far, the, is it? No, the river on the other side of town is. I gotta think. Yeah, no, it is going this way. All right, they're both going that way. I thought they were going the opposite. No, I feel bad for the owners. I, I, I hope they're not. I hope they're not out there hiking somewhere, thinking oh, their car my is God. safe. You think so? Well, well I don't know. Who? Nobody would drive in there. I mean, I think those well, cars we, are parked. We, we, we walked through here two hours ago, and the water was not even near as close as it oh, is here. Yeah. It that just came up two hours water. ago. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Wow. They were in a parking lot. Yeah, that's what it is. They're up hiking somewhere. Oh, yeah, well, they both have roof. Well, I wouldn't kayak. Yeah, but why are the windshield wipers on? Short it out, maybe, or uh, they created some sort of connection. Yeah. God, I hope the owners are not going to come home to their cars gone. Yeah, it's moving. It was moving when I was down there earlier. That is not a welcome surprise. No. That 
I've seen this kind of thing on the news. I've yeah, never right? seen it up front. I've never, yeah. you know, to see the well, you hear flash flooding, yeah. But to have it come up that quick, that that's really um, crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's very unreal. That was me in December. We yeah. Lived in Charleston. Oh yeah. And he I was, was driving to work through downtown Charleston at six fifteen in the morning after it rained all night. I was in like a little Volkswagen and I thought um, I could make it. And, I ended up in like three feet of water and had to jump out and push my car off the road and it killed it. Totaled the car. It did, yeah. I'd never done it before either. I was like, all oh, those people like get stuck like that are so dumb and then sure enough, that was me. Yeah, well you don't know how deep. You can't see the you don't yeah. know the depth. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I hope that person's not out hiking somewhere. Ride up in another one and then kayak down or whatever, and then oh, right, right. load them so up and drive sad. back and pick up the other car. Oh, they are going to be in for a surprise. Yeah, look at this guy. He can't. Oh, look at I just walked there. It's yeah, already yeah. covered with water. Yeah. I got to get back to my to my <laughs> my hostel. I'm going to get stuck on this side of the town. <laughs> I got another. I got another river to cross, and in the, <laughs> in the center, it, I, I, I was having beers and chicken on the deck. Right. That restaurant yeah. on the deck. Oh, yeah. The water's like. Oh, we were there too. Far. Oh, I got off the deck. I got nervous. Yeah. I went and sat at the bar. I said, "This deck is going." Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, have a good one. All right. I'm on my way back to town after that little excursion and look what's coming out the sun so that's not good because it's humid as heck and that sun all that's going to do is fuel some more storms and you can feel it in the air it's like it's almost like florida humidity i mean it's heavy so I'm going to head back to the hostel because we got, well, that's all fog up in the mountains, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a good, another wave come through here. The, well, the, warn, the, flood fla the flash flood warning is out till 7.30 local time, and it's only 4.30 now, so possibility we could get more. Hmm. All right. That's enough excitement for today. It's a cute little town. I've never seen... There must be other road closures because this road is... For a little country town, you should see the freaking... Look at the cars. It's just packed. I've never... I mean, like I said, I've been here before. I've never seen this road this busy. So something's going on. So this is Hot Springs, North Carolina. And the real hot springs are right there. See the spring resort? You can rent you can rent time in the pool, the spring, natural fed spring pool. I know some people have done it, I haven't done it. But here it is. Yes. This is it. You blink and you go right through this town. town it's, it's a vacation town that's all this is there's nothing here uh, you're just in the mountains people come here to get away it's a couple of campgrounds here and it's big big for hiking definitely a hiking town see the symbol see the AT the AT symbol on the pole right there yeah I'm going the wrong way. I'm going southbound. <laughs> All right, later.
Oh, here's the outfitter. Bluff Mountain Outfitters. Okay, oh, more hikers coming into town. <laughs> Alright, let's come back here, look at this river, see how much higher it went up. Yeah. I'm getting there. Well, there goes a log. Alright. Are you gonna let me go? Uh -oh. uh, I was going. I was eating there earlier. I had left. I went into the bar. I said I'm not sitting on this deck. Uh, yeah. It's, it went up about three or four inches. I've been watching it over there. Yeah. 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 The other bridge, car, people left their cars to go hiking, they're underwater. Really? If you walk to the other bridge, and the, AT, the AT's closed, there's five feet of water over the trail. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, thanks for the update. I appreciate it. <laughs> don't go, yeah, don't go, don't. Well, this is the high point until it's right in. I don't know. I don't know, yeah, yeah. that house right there right there on the corner uh, they got about two feet to go and they're gonna lose their shed huh. it is gonna be a mad exodus tomorrow Look at, look at all the hikers in town. The whole bunch over there. I don't know where they go. Oh, that's a... Uh, Alpine Court. Who's that? Is that Elmer's? I think that's another hostel over there. I called, but they were full the other day. I don't know where they're going. Oh, they're just walking through the yard for some reason. Maybe they have camping in the back. A lot of these places, if the rooms are full, they'll let you set up a tent in the, in the back somewhere. Oh. Oh. Well, I was wondering what I was going to do this afternoon. Now I know. Go for a little walk. All right, that was Hot Springs. And probably that's going to be it for today. I'm going to edit this. And while I have Wi-Fi, I'm going to put it on the schedule, load it and put it on the schedule for release. This is probably, I'm, I'm, a, I'm about a four-day delay in my videos for security reasons. And for convenience. Whoops. Okay, am I going? No. <laughs>